guys, welcome back. Let's play Shadow Hearts Covenant. Last time we fought the giant Shoki and finished it off with the help of the mutant apes. Impressive, as expected. This time, the scene plays out like this. Now you're going to tell me where Nikolai is. Hmm. I sensed Nikolai in that monster. First, you take the emigre manuscript, then. You take Nikolai. I'm here to put an end to this. It has nothing to do with you. Not good enough. Get any deeper into this and your very soul is in danger. Leave Japan at once. No way. Someone in this capital is pulling the strings, and I plan to find out who. No matter what? That lousy coward. He's hidden away while millions of lives are ruined. I won't let him get away with that. The Army's Hojo Research Facility. That's where you'll find Nikolai. He's still alive? Of course. But the minute you step foot in there, they'll use all their power to stop you. Sounds good. Interesting. Very well. I'll be waiting. We know Kato gave us the correct information because we've seen it firsthand. The interesting part here is they seem to have shifted certain parts of the story. Hmm. Is that right? In terms of who the villain might be. Because we don't really know anymore. So you came all this way to find this man you call Nikolai. Yes. Nice textures in that hall. Leading font. member of a secret society. And heir to the imperial throne of Russia. And now Ishimura has him. Ishimura? Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. The one who truly controls the cabinet. So that's Kato's boss? Correct. He wields tremendous influence here. Recently, he's even formed his own army called the Iron Soldiers to consolidate his power. He also controls the Hojo Research Lab. That monster, and the mutant apes too? That monster was probably an experiment that somehow managed to escape. That laboratory has been conducting suspicious experiments for years, always involving new weapons research. It looks like Ishimura somehow plans to use Nikolai against Russia. Against, against Russia? Russia? That is correct. He may even open up a new front in the war. He's that crazy? He may be a bastard son, but there is no doubt that he is the prince. If we are not careful, Ishimura could use him as his pawn to seize power in Russia. No way! Do you think he can really do it? It's been done successfully many, many times in the past. This relates to what we were talking about before with if Yoshiko. If this war gets any bigger, a lot more people are going to die. What's truly scary is that he is willing to unleash his monsters on the world. Uh, but then... Hmm? I just don't believe Kato's capable of it. He wouldn't just blindly follow orders from someone like Ishimura. I'm sure he's planning something else. Why do you think so? He's got a good heart. In Shanghai, he protected your daughter all the way until the end. But even so, I can't see why he'd come all the way to Europe to help Sapientes Gladio get the emigre manuscript. Huh? 
Emigre what? The Emigre Manuscript, a magic book that brings back the dead. So far, everyone that's been after it has been trying to use it for evil purposes. Last time it caused a hell of a mess. I don't believe it. I owe that man a great deal for bringing back Yoshiko's body all the way from Shanghai. I can't really believe that Kato would use that book to pursue evil ends. Hmm. What is it? Did you just remember something? That woman named Oka. From the mutant apes? What about her? When I heard her voice, I thought it sounded kind of familiar. Yuri, have you ever met her before? No, that was the first time. Well, so what? She sounded like... Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. What? My... Yoshiko? Good job giving the old man a heart attack, Yuri. Is he all right? Yes, he's resting at the moment. It scared me when he fainted like that. You'd faint too if you heard that your dead daughter was still alive. But do you really think that Oka person is Lady Yoshiko? I didn't see her die with my own eyes. So I'm really not sure. Couldn't we find out by paying a visit to the laboratory? What? <sighs> yeah. There's an idea. We'll just go right out and ask her, are you Yoshiko Kawashima? It's easy. Why didn't I just think of that? Are you sure? Of course. Yeah, when uh, they were saying that uh, it's been done in the past, meaning con basically controlling another country by putting someone on the throne, uh, the uh, the state of Manchuku or Manchuku or whatever it was, uh, as I talked about when we were talking about Yoshiko a few episodes back, um, that state was basically a puppet state for Japan uh, in the past. Um, I believe it was originally part of. Or was it that one or was it a different one? Either way, Japan has done that in the past. They had a, a puppet state. I believe it was in a part of Russia, if I remember correctly. It was either that or China. They have lots of skirmishes and wars with both countries over the years. But uh, regardless of that, that's kind of what he's referring to there. And considering his involvement in real life, it makes sense that he would be aware of that. Well, that's an interesting way to begin an episode. Just a little fright. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Get plenty of rest. Yeah, we kind of just run headlong into danger all the time without really thinking about anything. Don't do anything too stupid, you know? We do lots of stupid things. Now, they've told us to go to the Imperial Capital Research uh, Lab named Hojo, because Final Fantasy VII. But in my list of things to do, we have three different places to go along the way. Let us look at our score. 69. Nice. Our perfect success rate is above 65%. Looks like you've been training pretty hard, eh? It's time I gave you this. The Extreme. In order to get this, you need at least a 65% perfect rate using the Judgment Ring throughout the game. It's not particularly all that easy to get, but, um, if you do get it, oh my god, is it ever broken? 
It's a rare electricity only suitable for people of extreme skill. So it's called the extreme because laziness. See whether you can use it or not. It's really charge up your battles. Thank you, Sensei. Fuga mastered it, you know, did he now? It's not what we saw in the previous game, but okay, sure. It'll be fun to see if you can use it. Um, equipment. Yuri. The extreme. Hit area disappears. Physical attack power is tripled. And you thought the mind's eye was broken. Pairing this plus energy charge plus all the crazy bullshit that Lucia can do. The game is basically over at this point. If you want, there is no reason to do anything except for focus on building up Yuri and Lucia, and that's it. You win the game. That's all you need. However, it's a little different. Mystical headgear given to most elite martial artists when worn, the hit area and the indicator disappear. So you don't see the indicator and you don't see the ring or like any of the hit areas. So you have to judge based on memory how fast the ring is going and where or the indicator is going, whereabouts it is on the ring because you can't see it. It's not easy to use. I will demonstrate it, but I'm not going to rely on it. It is so broken. Again, as I talked about with the uh, Mind's Eye, this only applies to normal attack damage, um, not physically based special attacks, and it does not stack together. You can only use one at a time, uh, so I could replace it with the Mind's Eye, but I cannot equip the Extreme and the Mind's Eye. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's a thing, all right. It, it's definitely a thing. Hello, Yoshiko. You have nothing particularly interesting to say. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, if you don't have 65%, at least you will not get to, uh, you will not get that. Um, what did I want to look at? Let's go pop open the score one more time here. But yeah, we've done over 2000 ring attempts in the game so far. So it's not an easy thing to get, uh, you know, 65%. And if I wasn't doing single hits, there's no way I would be this close. I would be probably 30% if I'm lucky. But uh, yeah, interesting to, uh, to take a look at there. Look at some of these other things. I think that uh, max damage we got was probably from the previous boss fight, 16, uh, 1661. Yeah, we learn a few things here and there. Perfect success rate on my rings. You'll notice the uh, mutant apes are now part of the, uh, the list here. You can see how many uh, attacks I've done with Karando compared to everybody else, and it's like nothing. <laughs> and you can see the amount of battles I have with most of my characters, which means I would like to focus on Karando and probably Anastasia and Lucia. Those are kind of the more important ones. I want to try and balance everybody out and give them a little more showtime. Karando also needs to work on Affinity, so we will be setting him up for that uh, before too long. So yes, we are basically free to explore wherever we want to. Let us go to Yokohama and let's go to the Foreigner's Cemetery. This guy up here, let's go into our inventory real quick, get key items. And we are looking for the broken watch that we got from the Fort of Regrets all that time ago. Name is engraved on the back, but scratches have made it illegible. Tired old man, where did you get that watch? 
Do you know who it belonged to? It belongs to the person in this grave. Wayne Hashida. Died in action, promoted for his bravery. Not many half-Japanese soldiers. Hmm. Well, we have learned some more information about that. Now, there's a few other things to do around here. See if I can find the right gravestone. It's one of them. Here we go. A soul drop. talk to you but I can't read all the foreign words in it. it should be owned by someone who knows its value someone who travels overseas and we got another nibelung scene nibelung scene Bullen Vogel has increased in power okay let's go back there I wasn't trying to leave quite yet <laughs> now I don't there it is I thought it was around here somewhere Hello, my old friend. How are you? Yeah, what's going on with you and uh, you and your wife? Every night she's out until dawn. When I ask what she's been doing, she says it's work. Can't be at work all the time. She hates work. Okay. Join the club. Never talks to you when she comes home and says she's tired. Used to talk non-stop. Couldn't keep her quiet. Uh-oh. You can see the uh, wheels turning in your head, I see. Think I'm going to have to give up this job. Who else could do this job? Not like you can't finish the game without me. What fourth wall? Where is it? It's gone. <laughs> Can't think like that. Got a younger man, haven't you? Yeah, well, what's 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 it going to be, eh? Not as young as he used to be. Do we want to know? Here, this is for you. Another attack boost. I hate getting old. I know the feeling. I've had two knee injuries and a back injury in the last, like, four years. Sucks. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Those are the uh, three items that we needed there. We got the opera scene. We got the attack boost. Talk to uh, the guy about the uh, Fort of Regrets. And... The Imperial Capital. We could go here. However, there's some other stuff to be done in Nihonbashi. So let us go back there first. Some interesting things that can be done here. In order to do any of them, I first need to go save. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, we're back. I believe it's you that I'm supposed to talk to. What are you staring at? Okay. Sorry there, buddy. I'll give you this stuffed animal. Now, this is an option for continuing the side quest, the uh, trading side quest. I would not recommend doing this. So we will not be doing that. We will be giving it to somebody else because it's not in my notes. Um, who was... Was it you? Can't remember who was the, uh, the lottery guy. But there is a lottery guy in, uh, town here. Go we'll talk to you real quick. If I don't find the... Whoever the lottery guy is, relatively quickly, I will, uh, off-screen until I find them. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Absolutely no clue. I'm hoping it's somebody over here. Also, wolf.
Do you do the lottery? Ah, so you have one. I actually haven't written down. I don't remember there being three different options. Give me a sec. Okay, I double-checked, and my notes are indeed correct. Uh, we just don't have to do anything with it for quite some time, just because I've shifted uh, all of the extraneous trades that you can do, and we definitely don't need to do this. So, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to do that there. I said no, go away. Leave me alone. Um, Where is the person we trade with? Are you the lottery? I'll find the lottery guy later. <laughs> We're here. Let's uh, check our setup here for Blanca. Loin guard, demon earrings, pocket watch. Best equipment we have and not super important, but uh, poison two would be a good idea. It's the great Blanca. Oh boy. Blanca has fans. Oh? Who are you? My prince. Look at everything I've collected. Scrap bones you left behind. Snow white furball you hacked. Up. Okay then, Blanca run for the hills. Even Yuri can see it. Not interested. Stalkers are not good. No. Yeah, I met you 10 seconds ago. Trample it. Yeah. I'll never forgive you. Well, changes her, uh, her mood pretty quickly there. What else can I do? I better fight. Now I'll show you the fury of a woman scorned. This is a sticky situation. I guess this woman simply can't resist my charm. I believe at least the the voice sounds very similar to Karen, so it might be her voice actress. Ouchie. All right. Normal attacks are the way to go. I believe she got 810 HP. She does uh, use, I think, small ring on her attack, but she's susceptible to poison. So I'm going to try and inflict that on her. And other than that, she's going to use Hail Crash, and I'm not particularly worried. The sooner we inflict the uh, status, the better. There is a unique uh, part of this fight, though. And so I'm going to have take absolutely take my time with this. There's one unique aspect to this fight that you don't see in pretty much any other fight. And well, one of the things you can do with this fight is and I haven't really gone over this at any other point. So we're just going to defend for a bit. So there's, so there's small ring. I'm not worried about that because I'm protected against it. You have almost no HP left, which is good. Yeah, we're just going to uh, defend here for a little bit. I haven't gone over this as a potential battle spoils bonus reward thing, but there are a couple of fights in this game where you'll actually gain, um, like, you actually get a bonus for finishing the battle when everyone is berserked. It's not something you usually go for, and if we are berserked, we're not going to get experience for the fight. But in this case, you actually get a reward for it, and it's a worthwhile reward. It's the seventh key. I missed. It's one of, I think, like two fights in the game where you get something somewhat valuable for... Uh, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. I wanted to go to items, actually. So let's go to items. We'll heal up again. And basically, my strategy for getting this to work is you want to... 
lower her HP as much as you can, keep your own HP as high as you can, and then defend until you go berserk, and then hope the game finishes it off without wasting any of your items. Blanca has gone berserk. There is one interesting thing here. Blanca will pee on the enemy, and no, it's not just on another dog. But yeah, that's one of the random things he does when berserk that no other character does. But yeah, that's it. We finished it off and we're berserk. So we actually get a reward, as I was saying. All allies berserk, a seventh key. So no experience for the fight, but do we really need the experience? No. Do we really need the seventh key? Also no, but it's nice to know that we can get it without too much trouble. If you can't set aside your feelings, you shouldn't be fighting in the first place. I didn't think you'd be so strong. Well. Now I know how you really feel. You'd rather I stayed home and raised the kids, right? This chick's nuts. Get this down on paper. Run for the hills. Oh, that one? I'll take that. Full comment. Powered up. Don't want me to worry. I don't want to ever see you again. <laughs> Run for the hills, Blanca. You have found your first stalker fangirl. Well, that was definitely a thing. Let me find that... Uh person I'm supposed to do the lottery with here. Okay, here we go. We found the guy at long last. This guy is into gambling. I don't know why it took me so long to find him, but in the meantime, I started talking to other people and I unfortunately gave the, uh, the train quest item away, so I'm going to have to reload the save that I made right before we got into this town. And, um, yeah. Anyway, the warning device. Did I get it? Nope. Too far. Too far. Oh, I just barely got it. Okay, cool. The warning device. We finally got it. Thank you. It wasn't this bad this time around as it was before, but this is an item that you're going to equip for the rest of the game. A device that prevents being surrounded by enemies. No more back attacks, no more surrounded or whatever they call it in this game all gone after equipping this. This will be on for the rest of the game. No question. Whew. Well, I'm going to go redo that fight uh, against the uh, the doggy here. Unfortunately, I'm just going to subject Blanc to that one more time. But uh, yeah, we've got all the items that we needed to. So next time we'll be able to head into the Imperial Capital and go to the Hojo Lab. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.